The Google Pixel 4 challenges Samsung directly with a thinner design and a hinge that's engineered to be more durable. You also get a wider front display that's easier to use and a stronger zoom camera. But the phone's price is high and the bezels are large. The Google Pixel Fold is very late to the foldable phone party, but I am not complaining because there's finally some real competition for Samsung in the battle for the best foldable phones. And Google seems to be aiming right for the perceived weakness of the Galaxy Fold series with its DVU device. Hate the thickness of the Galaxy Z Fold 4, the Pixel Fold is the thinnest foldable yet, which the front display wasn't so squished. The Fold's cover display has a wider aspect ratio. Google even claims that its hinge is the most durable out there based on its own drop tests. Alas, the Pixel Fold does not beat Samsung on price. The Pixel Fold starts at $1800, which is exactly the same Galaxy Z Fold for costs. Also, the bezels on the foldable are pretty thick and the crease is pretty visible. I had a chance to go hands-on with the Pixel Fold and these are my impressions so far. The Google Pixel Fold is available for pre-orders starting from May 10 and the device goes on sale in June. Just be prepared to spend serious money. The Pixel Fold starts at $799 US dollar for 256GB of storage and you will pay $1919 if you want 512GB. At least Google Pixel Fold pre-order deal is tempting. You can get a Free Pixel Watch worth 349 US dollar. The first thing you notice about the Pixel Fold is that the 5.8 inch cover display is wide enough that you don't feel squished when typing to type. This is a welcome change compared to the taller but narrower 6.2 inch front screen on the Galaxy Z Fold 4. During my hands on time, I had no problem typing out a quick message which is good because you don't need to use the main screen to get stuff done. Open the pixel up and you will be impressed with just how thin this thing is. It measures just 0.2 inches thick which is thinnest of any foldable. The Galaxy Z Fold 4 is 0.25 inches. It may not seem like much but I could see myself using the pixel fold more to read for longer stretches because of this advantage. It's not all good news, though the Pixel Fold weighs 10 ounces compared to 9.28 ounces for the Galaxy Z Fold 4. And the Galaxy Z Fold 5 is tipped to be even lighter. We are also not fans of the fairly large bezels around the Pixel Fold's display. The Pixel Fold seems pretty tough too. The Pixel Fold's 180 degree fluid friction hinge is designed to be folded over 200,000 times and Google says that its hinge is the most durable. You also get IPX8 water resistance, think rain and water spills. My only complaint about the hinge is the phone doesn't seem to be fold fully flat when open. The Pixel Fold comes in two colors, obsidian and porcelain. I prefer the black since it hides the big bezels in a bit better. Overall, I have a mixed reaction to the Pixel Fold. I love the auto display, how thin this foldable is and the fact that Google has thought through all the ways you can use this device when it comes to optimized apps and split screen multitasking. I am also encouraged by the camera system and the 5x telephoto zoom. However, the bezels on the Pixel Fold are pretty chunky at this stage of the game and the crease could be more subtle. And while the $799 price matches the Galaxy Fold series, it's still exorbitant.